we are here to change the world. We are here to change the multiverse. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PCTW. My name is Potato Chief and we have a massive episode for you today. I do apologize, this has been a while since episode one. If you don't remember what happened in, pre in episode one, Chief returned. The multiverse champion for WWE 2K18 returned and he attacked our brand new world champion, Stone Cold Solid Snake. And the storyline's going to continue because in our main event tonight, Stone Cold Solid Snake has called out Chief. He wants Chief to accept an open challenge for the world championship. So we might have a world title match tonight between Chief and Stone Cold Solid Snake. If Chief will accept the challenge, we might get the world title match tonight. Also, we might sell someone else might step up for the match. We've got an open challenge match tonight anyways, but what's going to happen? It's going to be interesting. But before that, we have two other massive matchups as well. We've got a women's championship match, a triple threat match for the new women's championship here in WWE 2K19. But before all of that, we have a fatal four-way money in the bank ladder match. The winner will have a briefcase to the Kakashin on the multiverse championship. Chief better wash his back because one of these men... We'll have a briefcase to take him out. Let's find out who's going to become the briefcase holder. And let's get down to the ring. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PCCW. And we're kicking off with a huge matchup. It is for the multiverse money in the bank briefcase. The winner of this match. Oh my god. That is Sands. Oh my dear god. I didn't even get a chance to introduce this match properly. And that is a huge sign in here for PCCW. Welcome to for the Multiverse TV. We know. Sands. He is from out of this world. Sands. Close to that. Welcome back to PCCW. In the previous episode, Chief returned, destroyed the world champion, so Stone Cold Solid Snake. And now we need to crown someone to defeat Chief. What we have devised here is a fatal four way Money in the Bank ladder match with four premier athletes from multiple universes from other times. And because it's a multiverse championship, we need someone who could, could jump from universe to universe. So these are all people who can either break the fourth wall. Travel through time and space, or are just broken and OP and could destroy the universe. Uh, that kind of power. So they're all that kind of power. This guy, Sans, coming out looking like he's like the new Roman Reigns or something. Uh, hope you get well soon, Roman. Uh, welcome back to PCCW. This is episode two. And uh, yes, last the last episode was a week ago, not a couple of months ago when I first made the episode but this is brand new this is episode two this should be super intriguing for the, our first entry is sans a, a being who could control time and space and can travel between multiple dimensions seems feasible for a multiverse champion but who well oh my god is ryan reynolds i mean deadpool deadpool Wade wilson of course, it's Wade Wilson. Sorry, my bad. Not Deadpool. Wade, Wade Wilson. His, old, his, uh, his real name. So we have Deadpool. Sans. This is already kind of breaking down. <clears throat> we have multi-dimensional beings. People... I wouldn't say Deadpool's a multi-dimensional being, but he can break the fourth wall. He knows what's going on. He knows this is a wrestling ring. He knows this is a digital match. This is a... He knows he's trapped inside a video game here, fighting for a briefcase against Sans from Undertale. He will know that, because he is a, he can break the fourth wall. That's kind of his superpower. So, interesting stuff so far. Who will entry number three be? This is already getting a bit absurd. But who will entry number three be? Okay. Oh. My. God. No. I can't, that that's Goku. They wouldn't have him in. They wouldn't have him in Super Smash Bros. They wouldn't have him in other stuff. But they will have him here in PCCW. One of the most powerful beings in the universe. 
I mean, if you're gonna, if we need someone to defeat Chief. We need someone with that kind of power, who can only be defeated by Superman, apparently, according to Death Battle. If you ever watch those videos, for some reason, he always loses to Superman. But Goku, the most powerful being in the, in the entire universe, on a good day, unless he just he feels sorry for us and he'll just let one of the other people win the match, which is possible. He looks focused. He's only Super Saiyan level one, though. He hasn't gone into it. He hasn't got his blue hair or his red hair at the moment. I don't know much about Dragon Ball Z to be honest. I've never wrestled for that, so yes, I know some. I know some stuff, but this is a super intriguing match. So we have Sans, Deadpool, Goku. What a random match to start off this show. Yes, this is PCCW. Yes, this has kind of gone a bit insane. Last week we had some insane wrestlers like Stone Cold Solid Snake and uh, Sh Chef Hardy. And other crazy things like that. We've had we've had weird wrestlers in the past. But we've never seen anything quite like this. But for a multiverse championship across multiple dimensions, time and space, this kind of makes sense that you would have some people of this power fighting for a multiverse championship. But this seems a bit bizarre. One of these men will hold the briefcase. Will hold the multiverse briefcase and will be able to win the championship off Chief. Who's the final entry going to be in this Money in the Bank man ladder match? It's already kind of a bit insane. What? What the hell? What the hell is this? That, that's X! Or at least it looks like X! That's... The original X. I'm going to tear on W... X2! Weighing in at 200 X2. Pounds. XX, okay. So X2 is this is a confusing one because the original X was Chief. So the guy who's been trying to take over PCCW Chief, the multiverse champion, was the original X. This is X2. Who is under the mask? Who is pretending to be Chief? Or is it Chief? I don't think he's big enough to be Chief. Chief is a lot taller. I mean this guy's quite small and he looks like kind of a cruiserweight. So, I mean, it's a bit of a, a very confusing one. This is a new version of X. A new version of Chief, sort of. Is he, is he an ally of Chiefs? Is he an enemy of Chiefs? What, is he trying to do, is he trying to become Chief? It's very confusing. But we have four insane competitors here fighting for the multiverse briefcase. And Goku goes over the ropes. I can't believe I'm saying those words. O only in PCCW you'll see such random action like this. Oh, German suplex! This personal creation of someone who's actually a PCCW original, X2, seems to be dominating the match at the moment. And get and like big headed of the creator of this. Of the, oh my god! Oh! I still can't believe we have Sans from Undertale, Deadpool, and Goku in this match. This is beyond absurd. This is not something we normally see here in PCCW, but de desperate times call for desperate measures. They need to get that multiverse championship off Chief, who has the power to control time and space. Like, if you have the power to control time and space, these are the only kind of beings you'll be able to stop you. There's not much, there's not many people who, who could defeat Chief, so they need to bring out all the big guns here. Sans is gonna win! Sans is about to win the briefcase! He's holding on for dear life! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! Don't do it! Super Blex! Sans is dead! The skeleton is dead again! 
This is awesome chance going around the PCCW arena. The new PCCW. X2 is up and he's ready to fight again. He's going for the briefcase. No one's there to stop him. Deadpool's going up. Well, I mean, Wade Wilson. Oh, no. X2 fighting for his life here. Sam's getting some kind of revenge there, pulling him off the rope. Oh, flattened him. I honestly don't know who's going to win this matchup. This is a very insane type of matchup. X2 back to the top of the ladder again. Punching Goku off the ladder. He's on his own. What is he? What's he doing? Oh my god! What a move! Sort of. I was hoping he'd do some kind of flip thing, but that's still cool. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! Twist of fate from Sands. Whoever created Sands does has some very odd taste in move. Sands with a uh, twist of fate. I don't know where. And now a Paul Driver. If anyone know, if if you, if you know PCCW, Paul Driver is being considered the most dangerous move in all of video game wrestling. Oh my God! Oh, knocking him off. Goku is still holding on. X2 pulling out an extreme extreme move to take it down. The high flyer at X2. He does not move like Chief does. I think Chief is actually quite athletic for a guy of his size, but X2 is on another level here. He's, he's flipping around the ring like he's nothing. Oh. Oh my god, he's going for the tombstone power driver! Or the, the exclamation point! On the ladder! Dear God, Deadpool might be Deadpool again. Dead. But if anyone knows Deadpool, he will re he will regenerate or something. It might take him a while though, after getting his head, his skull crushed. X2, go for the briefcase. Goku is standing, he's going for him. It might still be a while until this briefcase comes down because no one seems to be able to even get close to taking. Oh no. Oh, X2 hitting the floor hard. He's out of it. It's down to three, ladies and gentlemen. It is Goku, it is Sans, it is Deadpool. I think X2 might be out of this match. Goku's not done with X2, though. He's going to beat him down. This is not necessary if you go oh my god Sans is gonna win Oh X2 kick of the ladder up Deadpool power bomb This is an absolute insane match Oh spin kick Everyone's just pulling off their finishes right now Goku's got him Oh, the running knee! Everyone is down! X2, going for it. He's so slow here. X2 wanted the briefcase. Is he going to do it? He's got it! He's got the briefcase! X2 is the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. Now the big question is, is he uh, is he on Chief's side? Is he against Chief? He has the briefcase. Will he cash it in tonight? Will he cash it in next week? Will he never cash it in? When will he ever cash that briefcase in? He can cash it in anytime, anywhere. And that, that's the problem is, where is Chief? He could be here anytime or anywhere with his multi-dimensional powers. So we don't really know when he'll be able to cash it in. That was kind of an anticlimactic end to the ladder match, I must say. But congratulations to X2 whoever X2 is for defeating these multi-dimensional beings defeating Deadpool, Goku 
and Sans. This man must be a powerful, he's a powerful, he has a robot arm, so that does help. X2, your money in the bank briefcase holder. In shocking style. Will he cash it in on Chief? Is he allies with Chief? Is he enemies with Chief? Are they anything to do with each other? Why why is he suddenly why is X2 suddenly showed up? The guy who looks just like Chief's old persona, X. This is very strange. We don't know what's going on here, but we're gonna find out hopefully in the next couple of episodes. Big match to start the show, but up next we have a triple threat match for the women's championship. Let's get down to the ring. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to PCCW. We just had our amazing Money in the Bank ladder match and now we are here for the Women's Championship. And oh my god! What on earth is that thing? Oh my god, it's Bowser. I thought the meme was killed it. I thought that meme was dead long ago. But here she is, Bowser. I mean, is this... She's fighting for the Women's Championship, but technically she's Bowser, right? So, this... Whoa, sense of that. She's here to win the Women's Championship here at PCCW. As I said, technically this is Bowser in a, in a crown. Which, it's very confusing. In many ways this is confusing. Why is Bowser here? Why is she competing for the Women's Championship? Why is she at PCCW? These are all big questions. I thought it was bizarre enough having Sans, Goku and Deadpool in the previous matchup, but goddamn, we have Bowser. I'm really hoping that she does not win this because this that would be a travesty for the women's division and it would be completely undermining the women's division as it is. We've had some crazy, some very good women wrestlers in the previous series of PCW. Who will be the first women champion in this series? Who is entry number two? It is our old favorite, and the great one, the Cornish Pixie, the, queen. the former. PCCW Women's Champion, one of the crowd favorites, one of the favorites in PCCW history. She's back with a new look. She's a lot more. She, her hair seems a lot more greasy this year. I don't know why it's so greasy, but she looks super greasy. But anyway, Cornish Pixie is back. She's got to be one of the favorites to win this championship match. She is the f she is one of the most popular wrestlers in women's wrestling history, especially in PCCW. Multiple five star matches from Dave Meltzer here at PCCW. She is one of the greatest wrestlers in women's wrestling history. She is the dude, the bloke, the the male. Who is the? Uh, I guess it's a triple threat match. We've got one more entry. Uh, what on earth? What the hell is this? Mrs. Chief? She looks like kind of like a clone of, of Cornish Pixie, but she's got the pale complexion, the robot arm, the grey hair. She is definitely part Chief. What is going on here? T tonight we've had... So Chief invaded PCCW in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, to take over PCCW. And now we've had X2, which looks like a version of Chief. And now we have Mrs. Chief, who looks like another version of Chief, fighting here for the, for the Women's Championship? We have another Women's Champion here. We have another... We're going to crown our first Women's Champion here. One of these three women, either Bowser 
the fan favorite college pixie or mrs chief this is a confusing one i must say to say the least and this is for the women's championship the brand new pccw women's championship it was meant to look more purple it kind of looks pink so if that comes across as sexist i'm sorry it was meant to be purple i don't know why it looks see that looks purple there that light it look pink for some reason but yeah it is a purple to like pur purple's a really cool color so i'm not being sexist to pink in a pink tile sorry it just look pink in that light anyway here we go three powerful women here Oh, Mrs. Chief being dominant. Straight out of the bat. If she's anything like the the male version of Chief, we might be in trouble. Chief still undefeated in PCCW history. The multiverse champion. Bowser and... Oh, jeez. Bowser and Cornish Pixie should watch out. Pinfall! That's kind of hot. Oh. Where is Mrs. Chief going? Oh, what a shell! So that probably protected her a bit. This is completely breaking down here. It, it feels like this has become a two or one match. Neither of them want... What the hell? They don't even fight each other. Neither of them seem to want... Mrs. Chief to... Uh, Mrs. Chief to be champion. And finally, they're going to start hitting each other. Why strategy stayed out of the way for this long? Why she got the chair? Well, she knows fully well triple threat matches and no DQ, so she's got the chair out. Great strategy by Mrs. Chief. Oh, counter in it. Bowser being quite powerful here against the, one of the greatest female wrestlers in PCW history and the female version of the, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. In PCCW, the multiverse champion himself has somehow found the female version of himself from whatever universe, I guess. He has the power to travel between universes, I suppose one of the universes he would be a woman. Like, why why would that not make any sense? That makes sense to me. Exposition is what I'm here for. And commentary. Dear God, stop! Oh my god. This is where the Chiefs moves. The flipping DDT! That's where the Chiefs moves. Bowser could just watch and do nothing. This is not a tag team match. Oh my god. Wait, is she just waiting for a spot? Oh my god. This has absolutely broken down. The fabric of t space and time just messed up with the, sh with, the rope with the ring ropes. That's what happens when you bring people from other dimensions into your universe, like Chief. You you're making a mistake by collecting all the Chiefs. This is just breaking down into a, a into pure chaos. You need to have him in the ring to pin him, Cornish Pixie. What are you doing? Oh, the whiplash. Oh, my God, the spin kick. Bowser getting the uh, Mrs. Mrs. Chief getting the chair. She's waiting for him to come back in the ring. He, she's not going to go out there. She, why would she go out there? Why would she go out there and face these two? Cornish Pixie just feeded Bowser to. Oh my God! 
brutal chair shot after brutal head of the brutal chair shot. Tombstone! Exclamation point! Oh my god! Mamma mia! What an insane matchup. This is it, it's over. New women's champion. New women's champion! Mrs. Chief! I'm an absolute shock. What is going on here, PCCW? We've crowned the Money in the Bank winner. We crowned a women's champion. We got a... And they've both been Chief, sort of. We've had X2 and, and Mrs. Chief. Uh, and Chief... Uh, and, uh, I, I mentioned this earlier in the episode. It, up next is so Cold Solid Snake. Vi uh, open challenge in... Chief, he wants to fight Chief for the World Championship up next. Will he be able to retain or are we going to have a complete Chief clean sweep of PCCW? Are we going to get Chief versus Stone Cold Solid Snake? That's the other question. He's, he's put out the challenge to Chief. But enough of talking about Chief. This is the new winning champion. This is Chief. Dear God. This is insane. What have we witnessed here in PCCW? The new women's champion, Miss Chief. Mrs. Chief is the women's champion. We have X2 as the as the briefcase holder, who's a kind of a copy of Chief, and then we have Mrs. Chief, who is the female version of Chief. Is, what's, well, is Chief just picking up all these people from multiple universes and bringing them all here to PCCW? This is very strange. Very odd episode of PCCW. I thought seeing Sans, Deadpool, and Balzette would be the odd things in this episode, but this is just very bizarre. Anyway, let's get down to the ring. We're about to have a world title match. At least that's what we think we're going to have. Stone Cold, Steve, Stone Cold Solid Snake has called out Chief. He is giving his, he's put his title up in an open challenge, but he wants Chief to accept this challenge. Will Chief accept it? Will someone else accept it? Let's get down to the ring. Let's find out. And it's time for our main event. Or at least we're hoping it's going to be our main event. At first, should be the world champion, the PCCW world champion. It is Stone Cold Solid Snake holding his title. He wants revenge against Chief. Is this? Is this Stone Cold Solid Snake? He is. He is put up an open challenge. He says he'll fight anyone, but he wants Chief to accept. Will he accept? Will it be someone else? Who is going to face Stone Cold Solid Snake, the world champion, here tonight? Will we get a new world champion? Will it be Chief versus Stone Cold Solid Snake, or will it be someone else? We're about to find out. This is going to be interesting. Who is going to step up to the plate? Will Chief accept Stone Cold Solid Snake's challenge and become a double champion? This is going to be interesting. Okay, what's going on here? Is this Chief? Is this... Is this Chief... Is he accepting Stone Cold Solid Snake's challenge to face him for the World Championship? Are we going to get a World Title match right here? Is it going to be Potato? Sorry, not Potato. Is it going to be Stone Cold Solid Snake versus Chief? What on earth is this? ACW? What is... Who's this purple? What is this? I'm, I'm super confused. That... He looks like... Well, this Chief in the background with his Multiverse Championship... This guy also looks like Chief, but doesn't look like he's uh, he's on a very good diet. His skin has gone purple, and he looks like double the, the height of this of Chief. He looks like a giant version of him, but he has two metal arms instead of the one. And they're made of gold, and his eyes are all cocked up. I d what is this? Who or what is this thing? He has the multiverse champion with him. He has the women's champion with him. Chief and Mrs. Chief. What is this? Is this a yet another version of Chief? We've seen X2 tonight, who is a version of Chief. We've seen Mrs. Chief, and we're now, we have this giant monstrosity of a man. 
this thing. And this is gonna be this is a, this is gonna be a will title match right now. The Chiefs, ACW, and oh my God! Oh my, with all the confusion and all the the lighting changes, we're we're in a different arena. This is not the PCCW arena. What has happened? What is going on here? What on earth is happening? What has happened to PCCW? What on earth is going on? So are we getting a world title match tonight? Are we going to get a world title match tonight? It looks like we are. This is for the world championship. It is Stone Cold Solid Snake versus this big purple guy. This Thanos body, the dinosaur chief. Well, he's, he calls himself the villain, but he's not Mighty Scale, that's a damn sure. This guy is huge. He's one of the biggest superstars in history in PCW. From Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 oh pounds, he is the world champion, the snake. Stone Cold Solid Snake might have bitten off more he can chew here. This could end badly. He is very out... The, the, uh, this this purple version of Chief, this big version of Chief, this golden, this Chief mixed with Fados kind of guy, is huge. I've not seen anyone this big in years in PCCW. This is one of the biggest superstars ever, and he is gigantic. Can he outpower him? And, uh, oh, is is Chief too? Is he some kind of clone of Chief? Is he a Chief from another universe? There's, uh, there's, it looks like Chief has got himself a heavy here in PCCW. He now has now an insurance policy. He knows X2 has the has the briefcase so he can cash in on him. So now he has this heavy, this monster. Oh my god. Don't call Solid Snake's not going to go down without a fight, though. We might see a new world champion here tonight. He's it. They're in this new AC, ACW arena, whatever ACW is. They, they've become this new f f dominant faction. This might be the most scary thing we've ever seen here in PCCW. Oh my god, he's climbing the top rope. Oh my god, what a splash! New champion! New champion right there! No, not quite yet. Oh, just kicking him in the back. Was that really called for? Still call Solid Snake going for it here. Two count. Stone Cold Solid Snake fighting all of all his life here. Stone Cold Solid Snake might win this. Chief, Chief Two needed to take a breather there, and he's angry. He's tearing about the table. Mrs. Chief needs to get out of there. She didn't want to get herself disqualified. Oh my God! Oh dear God, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! We're gonna get ourselves a new world champion right here. Dear God! This is awesome, Chad. It's going around the arena. Chief 2, a dominant force. Go for the splash again. Did work this time. High risk, high rewards, but as I said, high risk. It didn't pay off. German suplex! He's taken him to some kind of city of some kind. Spin kick! 
Oh my god, are we going to get ourselves a new world champion right here? Oh my god. New world champion. New world champion here in the... ACW stands for All Chief Wrestling, apparently. This is All Chief Wrestling. All the Chiefs in one place. Oh my god. New world champion of PCCW and I guess ACW now. Chief 2. Chief is the multiverse champion. Chief 2 is the world heavyweight champion and he's going to hold down the fort I guess while Chief teleports around the multiverse. And then we got Mrs. Chief as the women's champion and, and X2 who's sort of like Chief is our Buddy in the bank holder. Next week we have the MacGuffin title being decided and I'm just announcing it right now. Chief will face the winner of an Elimination Chamber at the next pay-per-view. So there's an Elimination Chamber next week for number one contendership to the Multiverse Championship. But uh, this is unbelievable. Stoke Cold Solid State dropping his title in quick succession to this freak. This big purple freak. This big purpley veiny thing can't believe what we're seeing the it is all chief all the chiefs are here in PCCW my god what a crazy turn of events new world champion chief 2 what in the earth is chief 2 what is ACW? And Chief 2 is now our world champion? We have multiple versions of Chief holding multiple titles here in PCCW. Or are we even PCCW anymore? Are we ACW? I don't know what's going on. This has been very confusing. Uh, what, we're going to find out what's going to happen in the next episode. Will X2 cash in on Chief? Uh, we got some big stuff happening next week. Next week, well, next episode. We have two massive matchups that I'm going to announce right now. We have the first, e we're going to crown the first ever MacGuffin champion. The MacGuffin title, the new championship here at PCCW, is the McGu MacGuffin slash mid card championship here at PCCW. We're going to crown a new champion next week. And in our next episode, or next week's episode, probably next, the next episode, we're going to have an elimination chamber match to decide. The number one contender for the Multiverse Championship. Yes, X2 has his briefcase. He hasn't cashed it in. He hasn't decided if he's going to use it yet. So we're going to have to crown another number one contender for the next pay-per-view. So, who will go on to face Chief for the Multiverse Championship? Let, uh, let me know what you guys think of this episode of PCCW in the comments below. And until next time, too sweet. Laters! Join Potato Club today and too sweet! That's a scriper.